Hello. We're live. Hey, we're live. Hey, we're today, live on YouTube. in today's video, we're going to be teaching you some tips and tricks and hacks on how to YouTube. Everyone go watch All right. YouTube. These are the days. <laughs> Cherish every moment. Michael, Hi, Rebecca, guys. Ah, James. Okay, oh, bye. Robin. We're on YouTube. Oh, Come hang out Ellie. with us on YouTube. Ah, we'll see Charlie. you guys there. Ah, Welcome to the beach house, everybody. <laughs> okay, seriously, seriously though. I didn't know you could discard a live stream after you're done with it. On like on Instagram, I just oh. discarded that live stream that we just barely Whoa. did. Okay. So, okay, so special, uh, special video today. We're going to get a lot of questions, and some of them are going to have long answers. If you want to make sure that your question gets answered, leave us a super chat, and we promise that we will answer your question. We will not miss a super chat. That's right. Because it's a super chat. Um, otherwise, go ahead and leave questions, and we'll start answering them. We had a question on Instagram, which was, why did you get started on YouTube? Okay. Um, and it was... The, basically, the answer is we wanted to learn how to make money and do YouTube. And six years later, we finally got to a point where we could actually do that. So yep. it's definitely a long process. By the way, we're home. Yes, we're home from our trip. Yay. The boys are over there at the table playing uh, Stratego. Yes. Do they even know how to play it or are they just... Yeah, they don't oh, know how okay, to well, that's good. They're smart kiddos. <laughs> um, Ellie is... Where are you? Ellie, there you... What are you getting into? Oh, she's drawing a picture or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Ellie is right there. Charlie is taking a nap. Ryan and Jessica are off duty. Yeah. They're not babysitting right now, so they are gone. They split. So, a couple of tips. Um, hi, Ellie. Hi, welcome. I'm trying to read these comments, but they're just so fast. Oh, my lipstick today is Plum Lip Sense, of course. Somebody asked... <laughs> Why do you Let's love see. treasure hunts? Why do you love treasure because hunts? Because they're really, really, really fun. How old are you guys? I am 105 and you are? Let's answer questions okay. pertaining to the topic at hand. Okay, well I'm 28. So just give us questions about how to do YouTube. It, honestly, if you're not interested in starting a YouTube channel or growing a YouTube channel, then this might not be the live stream for you unless you just like listening to us talk. <laughs> Otherwise, if you are interested in growing a channel or starting a channel, then this is going to be really good. Hopefully. Okay. When you started the channel, did you intend on having a lot of treasure hunting in it. No. no. Actually, we were doing the beach house for two years before we found our first treasure. And when we saw how well it did, we decided, let's keep looking for treasures. Let's find more. And that's kind of changed everything for us. Also, we might be starting a podcast soon where things like this would be a lot easier to talk about. And um, I think we would do it similar to like when the kids, kids go to sleep where we film it. Mm -hmm. And then we also upload it as a podcast separately. Abril Lopez says, how do you have time to edit with kids? So the fact that we're doing this together as a team, I think is the only reason why we're able to do that. Yeah. I usually edit in the mornings when I first wake up um, while the kids are eating breakfast or watching shows or Becca's taking care of the kids. Yeah. Um, if it was just me taking care of the kids and trying to edit, it would be a It would be really hard. Editing platforms. So Jen G says So Jen, when we first started YouTube, I used the YouTube editor. I used Which Windows was Movie Maker. Crappy. Yeah, they were both really, really bad. Um, I'm going to hold that because I've got a longer arm. Oh, okay. And okay. then I can keep track of the comments better. Um, so I actually saved up, Jen. I saved up just so that I could buy an, a Mac. And the reason I wanted a Mac is so that I could have iMovie. And the this reason I wanted iMovie editor. is because it was super, super, super easy to use. So if you don't have a Mac or you don't have iMovie, then... Um, I don't know what your options are going to be, um, because I've never explored anything other than that. Yeah, but um, honestly, it's like built for it, right? So like the editing software and everything on the computer is like perfectly made for video editing and like picture editing. It's like the visual side of everything. Look at that. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. It's all right. The people that are here are special. Um, I would say also a tip for you guys, and this is something that we learned just doing YouTube as long as we have. Like, um, don't expect to grow a channel or to grow a big audience 
overnight. Just by, yeah, don't expect that. And also don't expect it by getting okay. shout outs. Like shout outs are fun because it's like, hey, I got shouted out by my favorite YouTuber. Yeah. But don't expect to get a lot of followers because of that. Because that's And we're not, not trying to like pick on you if you're asking for a shout out in the comments right yeah, now. Yeah, not at all. But I mean, we personally asked Shay Carl for a shout out. Um, we used to ask lots of people for shout outs. Yeah, I mean, and... Either we it got, doesn't happen or it's not effective. It's just, it's like maybe 10 people or something might come and subscribe, but then they might unsubscribe because they're not really there because they like your right. thing necessarily. Right. Okay, Jaden, we just got a question from uh, Jaden Krantz. Do you know where the vlogging camera is? Um, Jaden wants to know what camera do you use? So I want to show you guys. Here's the camera. Here's Jessica's camera. It's the same camera. It is the Canon G7X. Jessica's is broken. She uh, sent it in to get fixed, right? She's going to. <gasps> is ours broken? Oh, that this I is was Jessica's. Okay, I was like, is ours broken too? So this is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is what we use for all of our vlogging. Um, but don't let that discourage you. It's like a $700 camera. The whole first year that we were vlogging on the beach house, we, we vlogged with our cell phones. <laughs> So, you can vlog with a smartphone and see some success. It's always going to be better if you have a nicer camera, but it's not like the end of the world if you don't. It, oh, oh my goodness, Hi. I accidentally fell on your lap. <laughs> okay, let's look for some more questions. How do you do super chat? Uh, it depends on if you have a credit card. Yeah, I think you have to... How did I bill my YouTube channel, please? How do I build my YouTube channel? I think they mean build. Build. Um, work on your spelling. Oh, be nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, let me answer some questions and walk around the house. I feel like, I feel, oh, that's another thing. So as we are sitting here on this live chat, right? We're talking to all of you guys. Um, we notice if the camera's moving and the camera angle is changing, it's a more interesting it's a more interesting video. Like, it, when we're just sitting on the couch, it's not as interesting. So that's a big, huge tip podcasting that I think. Podcasting is going to be sitting on the couch. I know, podcasting will be, but it's going to be a different medium altogether. Like, vlogging, I think people expect and want to see more of your life, want to see more around your house. And, like, podcasts are really about listening to it and getting too into really deep conversation, which is what I love. And I think that's what we're going for right now. How old am I? How old am I? I'm 28. Don't answer those questions. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> Here, give this back. Are you guys me. going to do a podcast? That's Kevin and Krista. And yes, but we just have to get it set up. Now your turn, Michael. We'll trade off okay. back and forth. There you go. <laughs> um, maybe we should turn on one of these lights. I know. I was thinking that too. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Looking for questions about YouTube and how to start YouTube. Thank you, TJ Studios. Android doesn't have the YouTube Live option but you can vlog on it and edit a video from the footage. I'm, uh, Android does have YouTube Live. I go live on YouTube on my Android all the time. It's not as good though, huh? Um, it depends on the phone. It has nothing oh. to do with this type of phone. Interesting. Um, well, how hard was it to start and talk to the camera? Benny Gamer. That is a really good question. Can so, I answer that one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Actually, so when we first started, Michael had Just a be aware really- of the microphone. Where is it? Oh, over my hand. Um, that's a good thing. Be aware of the microphone. When we first started, Michael was very, it was very hard for him to vlog. I think he was very, like, worried about how he looked. No, be on camera. He, well, the thing is, all growing up, he was like the cameraman in his family when they were doing home videos. So that was something that he felt kind of uncomfortable with, and but he knew that he had to break out of it. And for me, biggest tip ever. When, I, when we first started vlogging, I was so nervous about the strange people that might see my video. Not saying you guys are strange, but I was so worried about all of the different types of people that would see the video and would see me. And I started getting like worried about how, what people would think of me. And I, what broke me out of that was deciding that I was gonna look at the camera and just pretend like I was talking to my very best friend. The one friend that like you can say anything to that you feel completely comfortable around. So I pictured my friend Lauren actually, and I was like, this is who I'm gonna be talking to in my mind so that I'm able to just feel completely free and like say the things that 
that most interest me and I won't worry so much about like other people's opinions during that time. So that was a really big deal. Okay, um, I have an Android phone. It's a Samsung and I just want to show you that you can go live on, uh, on an Android in case you want to know. Let's look for another question real quick. All right. Um, <laughs> how long does it take to edit? So for a typical vlog, we might film maybe 30... That was Bunny Gamer, by the way. Bunny Gamer. Um, we might film 20 to 30 to 40 minutes worth of footage in an average day. And that will usually take me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to edit completely from start to finish. But I've been doing it for a very long time, many, many years. Um, never too old for dolls. I see your question about AdSense. Um, let me get to that in a second. But over the years and years I've edited, I've found that I can edit the fastest using iMovie, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. Um, and then also it's just come with a lot of practice, and I've just been doing it for so long. So I use iMovie to edit all of my videos because I love it. It's super simple. And honestly, I figured out how to use it all on my own without having to watch any tutorials. I just messed around until I figured it out. Here's my Android phone, just so you know. You can click on the little, um, there's a little record button here up on the top. If you see that, I don't, know, I don't know if you can. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little camera right there. So if I tap on that camera, boop, and then it gives me the record or go live option. So I would just hit go live, and then I can create a live video, uh, and that's on, on YouTube, on my Android phone. Um, so here's, what, here's another tip. So if you are filming on a cell phone, if you're vlogging on a cell phone, it doesn't matter if it's an Android or an Apple, it doesn't matter. The best way to get the files off of your phone and onto your computer, this is what I do. Um, Ryan, I don't know. I don't know if it's new. I've been able to do yeah. it for months now, uh, if that's a new thing or not. Um, so, oh, what was I, I was, I was like, my, oh, so, <laughs> vlog on your phone, you can record video on your phone, then to send it to your computer, um, I have an app called WeTransfer, and you can, you can open up WeTransfer, and then select the video oh, files, get out of there. There's a black widow in there. you can select Ugh. the video files that you want to send, and then send it to an email address, and then go on your computer, go to your email, and then download those files. It's a really quick process, um, but you do have to have internet connection in order to be able to do that. So hopefully you have quick internet. Okay, Cabela Watkins, you just asked what, how do you manage mean comments? That's a really good question. So I feel like we have to have a thick skin. Honestly, you have to have a thick skin and you have to be okay, no matter what people think of you. And just know that there's so many more people out there, I think, that just love and appreciate what you're doing. Um, we've had a lot of really hard times where we've started talking about something that we didn't realize was controversial, say, circumcision. And that was tough because we didn't realize that it was, oh, I'm going to stir the rice really quick. But we didn't realize that that was so controversial. And we got a lot of hate comments from that. And that was kind of scary and not like expected or as easy to deal with. But honestly, you just can't, can't, you, in life with all things, not just comments, you can't put all your focus on the negative, right? And think about it. You get two comments. If you don't consciously try to focus on the good, you're automatically gonna focus on the bad comment, right? One good comment, one bad comment. If you don't consciously decide, I'm gonna focus on that good comment, how amazing it is, that it, life's really gonna bring you down. I feel like you just really, really have to focus on the good, you know? All right, Michael. Is it hard? What made you want to, what made us want to daily vlog? Okay, so when we first, well, hang on, I gotta, I gotta answer. Never too old for dolls. Got a question about AdSense. Okay, I'm gonna go through the right. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you what. Hang on, sorry, Corbin. What's up, buddy? Does Trap beat Dragon? Yes. No, James, follow the rules. Sorry, gotta discipline live. That's always fun. Okay, Never too old for dolls. I'm gonna tell you right now. AdSense is a very complicated, difficult thing, as it sounds like you've found out the hard way. 
Um, I don't remember how long it took me to figure it out, uh, but I do know that AdSense has changed a lot since I started. Um, in fact, new channels cannot monetize through AdSense until the channel as a whole has over 10,000 views cumulative. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, honestly, I just have to troubleshoot it. If I was gonna try to help you connect your AdSense account, I would literally just have to get into your account and just try to solve it. You know what though? Because they're all gonna be unique. There's probably gonna be a YouTube video about whatever problem you're facing with monetization. <laughs> a YouTube channel that talks about like, it? Like, yeah, there's probably going to be a YouTube oh. video that you, you can look, look up. You have to look at more kind of search updated videos. In fact, that's what Michael does. Like, when he runs into a problem that I'm he has... I'm holding up my arm. That's what happens when I do when it gets tired. <laughs> but, I mean, once we hit a problem that we can't figure out, first thing we do is either ask a friend that we know also does YouTube, or we look it up online and figure it out ourselves. Um, how do you get good quality... Um, so Honestly. the better the camera, the higher the quality. Um, if you're going to be going live and you want good quality, then you need to have fast internet. Um, yes. So if you're going to use a cell phone, it's not the best quality. That's all there is to it. But if you get the G7X, it's really good quality. A DSLR, uh, which is even bigger camera, has even better quality. But you just have to weigh the pros and cons. Do you really want a huge camera? Or do you have the money to afford a nice camera? Let me just remind you, a lot of the comments I've been seeing, um, I haven't been seeing, actually. A lot of the comments I haven't been seeing because there's just so many comments. So if you want your comment to be seen and you have a very important question and you need an answer, use the super chat and we will see it. It'll help us to see it better. How do you make your thumbnails? So I, on Mac, I take a screenshot from some point in the video. Whatever and that's how relates I do the, the best to the title. That's how I do my thumbnail. My thumbnail. So I've got my computer up right now, for example. Let's just swap, turn this around. So here's I... I hold that for you. Thank you. Here's iMovie. Um, so I was editing the other day when we were talking about how hard it is to be an adult. Um, if you let the comments go, then you might miss a super chat, Becca. You gotta keep an eye on. Oh, okay. Um, so let's just say I wanted to use this, you know, you want to choose something that's clickable and compelling. So this cute picture of Rebecca right here. I'm like, oh, that's a cute picture. Then in iMovie, you can actually like zoom in on her face. Like, there we go. I'm gonna zoom in really tight on her face. Boom. Wow, so now her face fills close. the screen. And now I really want this, this to be the thumbnail. Um, it's a screenshot from the vlog, so then you can come over here to the export option and then hit uh, export image and then that'll save on the desktop that image and you're going to see it's exporting, exporting, exporting and you're going to see it pop up right here on the right hand side. Boom, there it is. So now that's my thumbnail that I can then use uh, for the vlog and upload that. So that's just a little tip uh, if you want to use, if you're using iMovie to, to snag a thumbnail. Okay, I have a good one. This is from Ezra, and how did you come up with your channel's name? The game says ages eight. Cool. But we're special. Hey, the good bits. How's it going? Okay, so how did we come up with our channel's name? Easy. Our last name is Beach, and I liked the name The Beach House. I think your grandma used to use that when, like, writing letters. She would write, like, the to beach. this person from The Beach House, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's a clever, and I love, like, having... A double meaning yeah. so our last name is beach that's why it's called the beach house and it also is like a beach house which is cool well we are the beach family so we are the, we're the beach, beach family house. so we really it really is our house <laughs> um i do have final cut i use iMovie because it's easier and for me it's faster ryan uh i've just i I, I, tr final cut. I tried final cut pro for an entire month because i had a free trial and after a month i was still faster and more comfortable on iMovie that's why i use iMovie um, yes, we like YouTube. Of course, so, it pays the bills. We love it. <laughs> what are your editing goals each morning? Each Fuel Me Once is wondering. Um, so every morning, I try to edit the previous day's footage before I do anything else. Even before I start vlogging for that day, I like to have the vlog edited and posted from the day before. Just so that way I don't have to think about it anymore. Because if I wait till the end of the day to edit, it always stresses me out all day long. So Krista Vlogs, hi! First of all, <laughs> does doing live videos help grow your channel? Yes, I think it does. I think it's funny, but I feel like YouTube puts your video out in front of new people a lot when you do a live video. So like at the end of this video, we might turn it off and it will give us a screenshot. It, we can take a screenshot of like how well the video did. And sometimes it's like 18 new subscribers just from this one video. So it's like 
super helpful is obviously putting it in front of new faces. YouTube likes live video and they're and trying they're to compete it. with a lot of other live streaming platforms. So when you go live, you're going to get promoted in the algorithm but it's not a ton like you're not just going to explode by going live but you'll get a better interaction good. i think and you reach a new otherwise. audience there's a whole audience of people that prefer live stream videos yeah. um like a lot of you guys watching us live right now um how often do you come into our live streams versus watch our regularly uploaded edited videos sometimes it's fun like the some interaction is different only. it's a different experience you know and some people really like the different experience of a live video of being able to actually interact with somebody right now you know what i mean so bunny gamer i'm not sure if i'm answering your question but you say is the live stream timed there is a timer on the live stream but we can go as live for as long as we want to yeah how do you get into events like vidcon um, when you say into, we've never been invited as a guest to yeah. VidCon or any of those. Uh, we've we did been to invited CVX, to CVX. But um, you can reach out to their marketing department and see if you're a big enough channel. Or Sometimes you can just, the fans are the ones who get to decide if you go or not. Yeah. Or you can just buy a ticket like we did and just show up. Yeah. Lily is a hater. Oh, that's sad. Uh. Um, let's see. I'm looking for questions about YouTube. <laughs> Why don't you have a gaming channel? So I thought about, video games are cool, wants to know. I thought question. about doing a gaming channel because I love playing games. Um, ultimately, at this point, I've decided not to just because I don't have a lot of free time for it. Um, we're just so busy with the end of the year. Yeah. Quarter four, end of the year is always super, super Oh busy. yeah, that's something I want to tell you guys about that's really interesting. So if you do YouTube, you'll notice, um, if you've done it for like a year, you'll notice that sometimes you get paid more than other times. So like the end of the year, what we're going into right now, we're going to get paid the most out of the entire year because it's the holiday season. But like right after December's over, January, <laughs> With January, it's the lowest paid quarter of the year for like advertising. So advertisers basically put in more money towards the holiday season and they save that money throughout the year to put up to put their money into their ads around Christmas time. And then at the beginning of the year, those same advertisers are reevaluating what they want to spend their money on. So they're not spending as much money and they also want to save some of their money towards the end of the year so they can put a lot more money towards like Christmas ads because that's when you that's when people spend the most money. So does that make sense? <laughs> if, that I don't know. if that doesn't make sense, uh, basically, I, I ad rates, anyway. basically ad rates are higher at the end of the year and at the end of each quarter. And so for the same amount of views, you're going to get paid more um, at the end of the year. If that yeah. makes sense. Why did you start YouTube? Um, First, it was because I, we were... We were really poor. Okay, hang on, I gotta go. Okay, go discipline. So we didn't have much money and I love making crafts and building different things. And, and I couldn't do it because we didn't have enough money and we couldn't justify it. And I was like, well, maybe I can justify it if I say it's an investment in our new YouTube channel because eventually we'll make money back even though I totally didn't believe that we were actually gonna make money you back. You didn't believe it? No! I believed it. Well, good thing because that's what made <laughs> it so that I could actually do it. I convinced him at least. I was like, investment. <laughs> Bonnie, when we hit a million subs, we're gonna go skydiving. Ooh. Um, so we decided to go daily because for me it was kind of a like a level of commitment thing in my mind I was like I'm not a real vlogger unless I'm a daily vlogger and that was just for me not everybody does that and that's okay but for me I had to go daily in order to feel like I have to do it sometimes it's, it's like you have to jump in face first you know something mm -hmm. feet first I don't know I can't remember anyways you have to jump in and be fully invested in something almost like me with lip sense like I bought a ton of it I like got all stocked up and then it made me like I have to sell this like you know you know what I mean like if you're completely invested in it you're gonna put more time and energy and effort into making it succeed and I think that's what we did mm -hmm. by going live or by by making a video every single day um, Angelina wants to know how to change YouTube channel picture we're talking about the banner or the little picture circle icon let me know Angelica Angelina um, after the ghost, it's, uh, why do you do YouTube? How do you get a lot of subscribers in a little amount of time? You have a viral video. Basically, try to invent a viral video, but good luck because it's the, hard. Yeah. You never can predict, honestly. I mean, I feel like at this point, we're getting better at it. 
If you go into but. YouTube expecting to get a lot of subscribers in a short amount of time, you're probably going to be disappointed. Yeah. So you're better off going into YouTube enjoying the process. And honestly, I feel like we've grown over a long amount of time, slowly, little by little, but it's like gotten better and better over time. And I think that's the best way because we didn't, some people will have a big viral video and they'll get their hopes up that that's how it's always going to be. And then it just plummets and they don't get the money that they were getting and like they're not getting the views that they were getting because they had a very short term successful video so like in the long run it's better to have multiple not viral videos or multiple viral videos is obviously always the best thing but <laughs> gross i think that's how you say it gross family how did you get started and what helped you to be successful at youtube i'd say the biggest successful tip that we've had is from the beginning we've always looked to ways to improve yeah so we've looked at other channels that are doing better than us and we say okay what are they doing better than we're doing and how can we improve and be more like that and honestly something that we did that i think a lot of people don't do is when we got our tax return at the end of the year we put all of it towards youtube I think into, not, into, maybe not into all of it. buying I think like I took you on a cameras date. and equipment and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like but that. like we invested in lighting and we invested in cameras and like we didn't just spend that money for fun. We like invested it, it back into our business. business. Yeah, and that was so so smart and helpful. It was easy to decide what to make our channel about because it was just about our family. Yeah, but but I'm in excited that, for that app too. That's gonna be really good. Um, it's. Also, as you go along and you have one successful video, you've got to like, if you want the views, if you want the success, you've got to like, think, how can I recreate this in a similar way so that you can make money more? You know what I mean? So, let's see. Why did you guys start YouTube? Is it fun or a lot of work? It's both. It's a lot of work. I feel like this specific job is so like there's so much false advertising in it you think oh i could just have the most fun in my entire life put it on the internet and make a ton of money like it's not just that like you work so so hard to get to that point you know what i mean okay and i wanted to answer another question somebody was asking how do you deal with haters and bad comments if you go to uh this is your creator studio on youtube if you have the channel already you can go to community settings under community tab and you can actually um, block users and you can block specific words so there's words down here that I've written down that are blocked so if anybody ever says like dumb or stupid or like all the swear words you literally have to think <laughs> all of those swear words. you have to think of every bad word you can possibly imagine and you write it down in the blocked words category section and then those words will forever be blocked and anybody that uses those words in the comment section no one will ever see that because it's a blocked word. So that's one way to keep the comment section safe from negativity or bad words or bad comments. Um, is this hidden users? I've never seen this before. Yeah, so if people ever like swear at us or say mean things in the live stream, I can actually block that user. So I've got a whole list of blocked users who over the years have said mean things in or our live streams. Or said really just awful things. So they're gone forever. I mean, honestly, yeah, don't like don't you can't you shouldn't focus on like the negative but honestly if people are being like really really bad just block them because mm -hmm. yeah. it's better that way <laughs> yep because you don't need uh -oh. somebody just said a bad thing yeah, we should block them I okay I so i'm putting this user blocked so now that person's going to be on my block list okay maybe they just wanted to see themselves on the block list <laughs> i guess no, i guess so <laughs> Uh, that's really funny. Banned by the beach house. Uh, sorry. That's what, happens. that's what you do when you say bad. That's what we gotta do. Um, there's another. Qu oh, so uh, the question was how to change the little circular icon picture on YouTube. Um, someone said, yeah, I know, I blocked them already. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> they got blocked. So sorry, I'm, I think that's I'm gonna switch funny. this around. So we're looking at the beach house creator studio here, um, and we want to change this image right here. So when you're logged in as the Beach House or your channel, you can come in here and you can actually click on this and then just go to, uh, let's see if I just click on it, edit channel icon. Channel icon comes from your Google account. Changes may take a few minutes to show up and then you can hit edit. Nope. Then you can come in here and it's going to allow you to upload a new photo. So if I want to upload this photo of Rebecca or us at the basketball <laughs> game. 
Dog or Amy. Me no, at Summit. <laughs> like I can literally, oh, like Jace. If I want to put Jace's picture as our photo, <laughs> then you can do that. And that's how you. Did you take a picture of me sleeping? Maybe. Are you kidding me? I always take pictures of you Wow, sleeping. Michael. But you're so cute. <laughs> anyway. That's Hopefully that answers your question, Angelina. I want to make sure I didn't forget about you. Okay, also, Krista Vlog said a while ago... Banned by the beach house. Hashtag. Hashtag banned by the beach house. Go on the other um, end, guys. So, Krista just said, how do you get comfortable Hi. vlogging in public? She still can't get the hang of it. Well, how do you do clickbait? I wouldn't know. I never clickbait. <laughs> I would say that the yeah. only way to get over vlogging in public is by vlogging in public. Yep. And it's gonna feel weird. Yep. But consider this. How many people have a cell phone and are going live streaming nowadays? Like everybody. Well, so good. don't think it's it's put, really put not as weird as it used to be. And it's really not as strange of a like sight to see that nowadays. So yeah. just think of it as normal and do it. And that's the only way that you're gonna feel better. <laughs> Yep, you just gotta do it. Exactly. What kind of content do you guys recommend for beginners? Whatever you want. Do what, whatever what you want. What interests you? Explore the world. Um, <clears throat> and I would say don't make your channel name something that limits you. Right. So, like, don't say woodworking with Charles if you're not gonna wanna just woodwork for the rest of your whole channel's yeah. life. Yeah, you gotta think about what you wanna. That's why I was like, pins, like Pinterest, and other things you can do anything Pins with that and things i can do whatever i want <laughs> even the beach house it's just our family so That's you can right. do anything with that so don't limit yourself with your title or your channel channel name Gen G says any stores not allow it i think there are lots of stores there that are a lot of stores legally <laughs> and technically don't allow filming but we do it anyway for sneakers and we just get kicked out or told to stop like at Walmart, we've been kicked out, but that was Multiple because we were times. doing something really obnoxious. That's true. Usually people just say, hey, stop filming in here, and we're like, sorry, and then we and stop. And then we're like, okay. And then Honestly, the next time we come back and we do it again. and Unless you know. it's like posted everywhere and it's very clear, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And if somebody asks you to stop, then respect it and stop. But like, I wouldn't feel too like, oh no, I don't know the law here, so I can't film in this park. Like, just, just do it. Just do it. Because and if you get in trouble, most likely you'll be then fine. don't do it anymore. Hey, we got a hey, super chat from Demo. Thank you dollar. for the dollar. Demo four four two eight 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 two. <laughs> I think that might be a phone number. Or something. Oh, somebody call him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, our YouTube channel name is our family name. We're the Beach House. Our last name is Beach, so it's our Beach House. So Demo has a question, and he sent us a super chat. What's Lululee. the best way to build your fan base? The best way to build your fan base is. Being consistent. Consistency, that's what I was going to say. Um, consistently posting, but also consistently improving the quality of your content. Whatever type of content you're filming, you're, there's going to be some type of a fan base for it. Mm -hmm. And that's who you're trying to attract. And honestly, if you can look back at your first videos and go, holy cow, I've learned so much. I'm way better than I used to be. Then you're getting somewhere and you're improving. And you just don't stop improving. Like... Don't stay the same, especially if it's not working. Change, like ch just change it or look up tutorials. Like YouTube is just full, like chock full of tutorials on how to do YouTube. And make sure you're having fun with it along the way too. In fact, you could look up Daryl Eves. Like he will tell you all sorts of amazing, you probably wouldn't even be able to do all the things that he knows. Yeah. Because he knows You can watch so all much. of his videos and that'll keep you busy. Um, Where's Charlie? He's taking a nap. <clears throat> Phoenix says, are, do you get bored doing it? No, we don't get bored because if it's we get bored, life. we just do something else. Honestly, it's our life. It's like, do you get bored living your life? No, because we're really weird. Gildardo says, how do you come up with ideas for pins and things? So on pins Pinterest. and things, I'll go to Pinterest and I'll look up ideas or it will give me inspiration to come up with my own ideas or I'll just come up with my own ideas. I'll look at videos that are coming out or trends that are coming for that are really popular right then, and then we'll just build off of that. How do you grow your channel in population? It's similar to how do you grow your fan base or how do you grow yeah. a channel in general. It's being consistent quality, consistently posting, um, but also going with the trends. What's what's interesting? What's trending right now? What do people want to see? Um, you also got to pay attention to that too. Um, cause Somebody said super chat. Because if you just like film boring stuff, then no one's going to want it. How do you plan things ahead? So, that's a really good question. Every single Sunday, in fact, after we're done talking to you guys, we're gonna sit down and we're going to have a planning meeting for the rest of this week and month and probably up to the end of the year, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, we we're getting lot, so close. We have a lot that we need to figure out. And honestly, beyond that, we usually have a year in advance, six months, a little bit more detail, and then like three months we have it planned out pretty good. And then, of course, we do weekly and monthly, and those are like super detailed. So it's like the closer it is, the more detailed it is. Mm hmm. Um, mind guy, how do you come up with ideas for your channel? So even the beach house, the ideas that we come up with are it's just our life. Like what do the kids think is fun to do? What do the kids want to do? What do we want to do? What are other YouTubers and doing that's like trending? And there's like special ideas that we come up with every now and then. Like our April Fool's Day video was really fun. And like, yeah. Or like the Becca and Ryan show. Like things that we just think would be fun. And that's what's so great about the beach house. Like we can do what we want with whatever it. Whatever is fun. Whatever sounds fun. Like honestly... Think about it. If you're trying to think of ideas for your YouTube channel, what do you like to do? What do you want to do? Do it, film it, and post it on your channel. And you know what? Just because it's not the same as another YouTuber does not mean it won't be successful. Because whatever you're passionate about is what people are going to... No. Like, everybody can relate to having a passion for something. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're very passionate about whatever it is that you do, then other people are going to catch that feeling of passion that you have, and your channel <laughs> will be successful. If you're just making a channel to make money, you're not going to get very many views, and you're not going to get very much success. you probably be gonna Because get I think your fans will notice all they want from me is money. Like, you've got to do what you would do in your life as a passion anyway, and the money will come. You just have to make sure you're filming it, whatever it is, and putting it on YouTube. Yeah. So Lance Gardner says, how do you do a clickbait? Basically, a <laughs> clickbait is a lie. It's a false advertisement. So you have a title and a thumbnail that do not match what the video is about. That's clickbait. That's clickbait. Where you're like, hey, I clicked on this because of this. Yeah, it's like, not even that at all. If I'm going to click clickbait. on a title and thumbnail that say they found a treasure, they better find a treasure. Oh, wait, they did. So that's not clickbait. <laughs> Even though people say it's clickbait, it's not clickbait because it's true. That's what we did. How do you know what's trending? I feel like Bonnie Holland said there's a site. Yes, so you can go to Google Trends actually. Just that, go to Google and say, type in Google Trends. I know Reddit sometimes has like some helpful things. I don't know, find, but how I to haven't use used Reddit. Reddit, but I know a lot of my friends do. Yeah, if you go to um, Google, type in Google Trends, and then you can like type in like. Halloween. I mean, Halloween, of course, is trending because it's Halloween season. Uh, okay, fall, little, things are trending. Little Case Cupcake just got here and she said, what did I miss? Well, you're asking questions to us <laughs> about YouTube and anything, any questions really. But if you do a super chat, then we will for sure see your comment. Otherwise, we might miss it because these comments are going pretty quick. Uh, video games are cool. How did you start this channel? Probably the same way that you started yours. Video games are cool. You have a channel. Everybody commenting right now has a channel, whether they know it or not. <laughs> um, you just have to start uploading videos. Keep in mind, you can always make your own trend, says Michael Jorgensen. That's right. That's absolutely true. Like, like Becca and Ryan show. Like treasure hunting. I mean, that's kind of trending because we started doing it. Other people invented stair sliding. Yeah, like... I mean, it's been around for a long time, that. but that doesn't mean you can't restart the trending. Lulu Hilly. Love you guys. I'm glad you are back. Glad Thanks, to be Jessica. back. Thanks for that $2. <laughs> you can't get away from us even when you're not at home. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a question to go along with that super chat? <laughs> Um, is YouTube hard? Yes. YouTube it is, hard. is hard. It's well, like any job. It's a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort. And you really have to be on top of things because it changes all the time. And it's not up to you how YouTube changes its, its contracts or how YouTube changes its format on mm -hmm. things. Like you have to be up to date. You have to be ready to change. And mm -hmm. that can be really hard for some people. So like keep that in mind when you start your channel. Things aren't going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. The trends will change. The people will change. The people that are like the top YouTubers are not the top U YouTubers that they were five years ago. You know what I mean? Like it changes really fast with the trends. Uplifting time. How do you edit videos? I use iMovie. Um, that's the video editor I use. If you want to know like, like technical, like how do you actually physically edit a video? Um, I, we're probably not going to get into that in this vlog. Uh, but there's yeah. a lot of tutorials that you can look up online, and honestly, Tons iMovie, of iMovie is really easy to use. I just kind of figured it out, um, and I'm not. I was never a video editor. Like I never did school or took any classes. I just kind of messed around until I figured it out. Um, and if you don't have iMovie or can't get iMovie, then you're on your own because I really don't know any other program than iMovie. Yeah. How did you start your channel? Let's see. We kind of. We kind of already, kinda already that. answered that. Um, um, so what? 
what is in for next year going to be exciting yes oh, Jen it is. it's going to be very exciting I think both the Beach House and Pins and Things are going to pass a million subscribers yes, next they will. year because we are not going to stop right. you know what I mean like we're never going to stop we're just going to keep doing this until we can't anymore for one reason or another but right now we're not going to stop that's not even in the options at all right um, uh, when we're done go play They're sorry the playing. kids are just playing downstairs uh, Paulina says it's YouTube hard. I would have to say, and we kind of already touched on this, I don't think it's really hard in a sense of like, uh, it's like it's it's not hard go check this to know food. how to do YouTube if you just study a little bit. Um, it's just work. It's hard work. Uh, but it's like, the, the concept is simple. I mean, it's really not that hard to figure out if you just try. Just study the industry. Look for best practices. Watch DarylLeaves.com. He's, yeah. he's he has a lot of very good tutorials on how to get started. And who else? Um, what's the other guy? Tim Schmoyer. Tim Schmoyer's good. Tim Schmoyer and J House Vlogs guy. <laughs> they all have like a lot of really good things to say and tips and tricks for YouTube. Um, we keep getting a lot of the same questions. Try to send us some new questions that we haven't. What is the best about. video you made? Our Who's most the... viewed video. Yeah, Phoenix. Fresh treasure hunt. <laughs> or the zombie baby maternity costume. Yes. So if you say naughty things, you're going to get blocked. Yep, and all I have to do to block you, if you're wondering how to block someone, is just... And this is for live streams. You just tap on their comment, and then you block them, and they're gone forever. Yep, yeah. so Goodbye. keep it clean. <laughs> Kids are downstairs they're playing. downstairs playing. Charlie is sleeping. I like it when he cool. sleeps. Cool. Well, too. I feel like we covered pretty much everything. That I we just really to. want to make sure that I answer all your questions. Honestly, um, you could always send us a message on the Beach House on Facebook or or what else. I, I might not answer them That's just because I, I don't might. have a lot of time. I, I usually do. That. Feel me once, my my fellow Pokemon Go player. Uh, I'll be coming out again soon. I, I still haven't caught NT yet, so I'll have to definitely be coming out soon. One, out it's, this happens all the time. Or like, he hasn't been playing Pokemon Go for a very long time, and then all of a sudden, he's just gone. And I'm like, Michael, Michael, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back like a half an hour later. I just got this legendary Pokemon. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Lafitte's Curse says, what mistakes have you made? Oh, that's um, a good question. I think... The first mistake we made was waiting so long to start doing Seriously. YouTube. Seriously. Serious. That is the very biggest mistake we've ever made with YouTube was just not starting was not sooner. not starting sooner um, and not taking it more seriously earlier on, too. Like, it took us too long to take YouTube seriously. Yeah. When and why did you start doing YouTube? We wanted to make money, and I wanted to justify making crafts. <laughs> we already answered that question, too, <laughs> that's so right. that's why you get a short answer. Uh... Is YouTube hard? We've already answered that, too. It's just work. It's it's just like any other job. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. Um, uplifting time. I edit videos. I've already told you guys all the questions. <laughs> I, I use think... iMovie to edit. How did you get to get do popular? Long. We've been doing YouTube for six years. So, I mean, it took a long time to get where we're at. Yeah. It's not a quick, short, super easy thing. It takes tons and tons and tons of time. And effort and, and like learning. honestly what you guys probably didn't see is just how many years we put of time and effort into it without getting like anything back in return mm -hmm. like this is one of those things that you if you do it for so long and you start to not really see much of a return you start feeling like am i crazy should i even be doing this mm -hmm. like is this worth it and we just kept going even past that point and then started making money we're live on mobile. That's how we do live streams. We use our cell phone to go live. <laughs> the burping contest. Take for a video something. to upload. The Lightning Princess says, "How long does it take for a video to upload?" So, Lightning speed. <laughs> um, it depends on how. <laughs> what's iMovie? It's a video editing program that's on all Apple computers. Um, so if you have a Windows computer, then you're not going to be able to get iMovie. Um, how long does it take to upload? It depends on first how long the video is, and how fast your internet is. So there's no easy answer to that question. It really has things that it um, just depends I've on. I've been in places with really slow internet, and it will take literally 12 hours to upload a vlog, a regular vlog, but I've been in another place where it will take 12 seconds to upload a vlog. It really just depends on how fast your internet is. Yeah. Um, 
You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> um, how long is the live stream going to be? Is, Somebody's getting bored. If just you're kidding. getting bored, sorry. I just wanted to make sure I answered all your questions. What mistakes have we made? Did we answer that very well? Yeah, we took too long to get started. Yeah, we took That's... too long to get started. Um, we didn't post consistently with pins and things at first. And it was probably, what, two years in? Was what? it two years in? Into pins and things that we were finally like, okay, let's post consistently twice a week. And then our channel started to grow. Mm -hmm. It's funny, but you know what? YouTube loves seeing consistency. And their analytics will push your channel if you consistently upload videos. And the more interaction you get, the more you'll grow too. So it's like, even if it's bad attention sometimes... I shouldn't say that. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Kevin and Krista says, what's the best tip or piece of advice you got from Vid Summit last week? Oh, that's a good question. Um... <laughs> I feel like I got Best so Best tip much or of piece it. of advice. Um, playlists. Let's let's talk about playlists for a second. Yeah. Um, Dara Leaves is always harping on playlists because I think people still aren't doing playlists to their full ability. Um, yeah. Playlists have a lot of power. When you create a new playlist, it's it's the same to YouTube as if you created a new video. Yeah. Um, and you can use it to, to bundle together videos. So like if you're doing a video and you want to do a follow up video that's very similar, create a playlist and link those two videos together in that playlist. So that way YouTube knows to promote that second video in relation to the first video. It's basically you're helping YouTube identify what the user should be watching next. And I mean, they're giving you that power, yeah. right? Like that's actually a pretty powerful tool when you consider that sometimes your videos are being put with other videos that you really don't want other people to watch. Yeah, you, know you want I mean? everyone to watch your videos, so put them in a playlist together, and then YouTube will help. That will tell YouTube to keep pushing them together. Get rid of that comment. I can't even read it. I don't need... Oh, sorry. I, I am just, like, looking for ant questions, and so sometimes I don't even pay attention to back comments. Um, Ryan Sellers, we've never used Reddit for promoting content. I really we don't honestly, know how we to need use it. to learn how to, you can you teach us Reddit? <laughs> oh, um, that's another thing. Like, we're not all about just YouTube. Like, we've been using Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest, but not really promoting it. <laughs> and like, there's just a lot of there's a lot of different platforms out there, and yeah. like you'll be successful the more time you put into them and honestly putting in oh that was another thing we learned at vid summit like you want to grow all of the different platforms that you're on but you need to put original content on each of them so like say you make a youtube video and you want to post it to facebook edit it and then post it natively to facebook how do you feel when you get noticed when you are out and about doing things with your channel <laughs> it's so cool flattered <laughs> It's really cool. Three Marvelous Sister. We've talked about this a lot. Um, make sure you go back and rewatch the live stream if you have more questions that we've already talked about. Um, just make sure that you're consistently working, work hard. And I would consider YouTube work from the perspective of, like, if we don't do it, we don't make money. But yeah. at the same time, it's not work because it's just so much fun. It's We just basically are doing what we love in our life that we would do anyway, but yeah. the difference is filming it and putting it up on YouTube, right? Oh, wow. I'm way behind on comments. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Don't leave. Do you want to have more kids? That's not a question on how to grow a YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, it is, because it would be growing our uh, YouTube Maggie says, hey, um, do you need a license? I'm not sure what that means. You don't need a license no, to you film, can make to vlog, a, especially. Yeah. Um, yay, Krista Vlogs got noticed. <gasps> That's so cool. Um, will you ever make a 24-hour vid? Probably not. Somebody said, how do you feel when people are looking at you when you're vlogging in public? I ignore everything around me when yes. I'm vlogging in public. Honestly, you know, um, most of the time I get distracted and I'm looking at things all around me besides just the camera in the house. But in public, I zero in on the lens and I only look at the lens even though I know there are people staring at me. I just do it anyway. And I don't even look at them at all. <laughs> Uh, video games are cool. You keep asking the same question. Are you not listening Kayla, to our answers? Kayla said, was it worth it? Was what worth Absolutely. it? Absolutely. YouTube. Do you want your children to make a YouTube channel? Um, they get to be in our channel, so in a way they already have a YouTube channel. Um, the big YouTube events to attend. Uh, VidCon, Playlist Live, 
I don't know if I even like play. I don't even want to promote Playlist Live. I was disappointed with <laughs> Playlist Live. Well, uh, VidCon definitely, Vid Summit. If you want to learn how to grow a channel, uh, and CVX Live CVX is Live. awesome. Those are the ones that we know of that we've been. They're to. the best. Is um, vlogging difficult? You know what is hard about vlogging? Doing it every day. That's what's hard. Um, just because some days you don't feel that great, you don't really want to do it. You just do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, just gotta do it anyway. I really have to pee. Well, go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gen G says, how young is too young to start a YouTube channel? Technically, YouTube says you have to be 13. Um, the parents can always own the channel and star a, a child younger than 13. So from that perspective, you can kind of get around that. And they can be any age you want. I mean, think about uh, Kyle's toy review or whatever. He's definitely not 13, but he has his own channel. But his parents really have it. Um, so you can do it at any age. Hey, five. Five. Been here since 100,000. Looking for more questions, guys, if you guys have any more. Um, my arms, here's my arm. It's resting here, and then my other arm is resting on my knee. So that's how my arms are not tired. <laughs> um, so we go live on our mobile. It's just through the through the app. I've I showed that a little bit earlier in the vlog, if you want to go back and check out how to do that. Um, Laura says, do you get tired of filming? Eventually, sometimes I, I do, I get a little burned out, but as long as I'm doing something that I love, um, or something exciting, then my energy comes back. Um, Michael said, uh, or something like that, you had a great time. Cool, I'm reading your comments, guys, I'm reading your comments. Do you have a Wii U? Yes. What's the most effective time slash duration for a video? Okay, so YouTube promotes long form content. YouTube, if you post a, a video that's an hour long, um, it has to also be engaging. So it has to have good retention. Um, if you post a long video and it gets, you know, say you post an hour long video and the average view is 15 minutes. Obviously that's not high retention but it's still better than posting a three minute video and people watch two minutes. It's a longer retention, but it's not as good to YouTube because YouTube likes watch time. So watch time is very important, but it also has to be engaging. If people click on your video and immediately click away and they never watch it, it doesn't matter how long your video is, YouTube's not gonna promote it. Um, That's my bad. Are other social media really needed? I would say no, it's not needed. Um, we have, Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter. All of them are not anywhere near as big as YouTube because... Well, we're not making money on the other ones right now. But I mean, we could if we did brand deals. The question is, but. are they needed? No, because we can grow a YouTube audience without them. Um, but it's smart to have multiple f platforms. Yes, it's um, very smart. Just so that way you have diversity in what kind of content you create. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have any of your videos been delayed for an unfortunate event? Yes, but not past uh like maybe 1 a.m or something like that so we've had like bad slow internet or michael's not been able to get to a computer because we've been at one thing or another so yeah they've been just they've been like put off i'm sure i'm Bye, sure Jack. some of you have like seen that and been like where's the video <laughs> what is a good watch time percentage um what is a good time watch what is a good so watch average view percentage for uh like if we have a video that has an average view of 50 percent i would say that's good um just in general but it also varies it depends on the video like our treasure hunts i think our average view duration is like maybe 20 percent of the total video um so it's a little bit lower but those are long videos so it's hard to to keep long retention on those. Also, I am so happy to be home. We are so happy to be home. We just got back, um, what, like yesterday? Yesterday night. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so grateful to be back by the kids. And I just have to say that because I really, really am. I'm very happy to be home. Our last name is Beach, so we are the Beach House. That's why it's called the Beach House. Um, well, we have our gold and our treasures just at our house. 
So don't come steal them. Do you think you'll ever have a fan meetup? Kayla asks. I think Where do you we, live? Let's come meet you I think you if right we now. had more fans, we'd probably do one. But I don't want to go like, let's have a fan meetup. And then we're like, the I only actually ones think there. when we were really small, we said something like, let's do a meetup. And nobody, nobody came. <laughs> so so we're, we're burned out on meetups. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll probably, do one. We'll do one. I think we'll probably just focus on maybe doing like, like VidCon or CVX meetups. Yeah. I think. That would be fun. Or where we know there's a lot of viewers for ours, so that when we put it out there, maybe somebody will actually come see us. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, well, it doesn't look like we're getting too many more new questions. I'm looking at the if more you recent have, well, questions. The thing is, I feel is there like... any question I haven't answered yet that oh, you guys yeah. have maybe asked and for some reason I missed it? Um, don't. Let's see. Meet up when I'm home. <laughs> have a meet up Sorry, when I'm home. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> I came. And we'll you were come gone. stalk you. <laughs> Um, are there any questions I haven't answered? I just want to make sure you guys know that we are using this live stream. Does editing just to take help long? You. you usually spend about an hour a day it editing, but I know hour. like the Tannerites, we're spending like five hours a day editing. J House Vlogs spends like six or seven hours um, editing, so, so it just, it depends, just depends on how much edit depends. you want to do. Um, how much you paid per how many views? Alyssa wants to know. That's a good question. Uh, that is a good question. It varies, so I can't give you an exact. Uh, answer on that one but I would say on average it's about a dollar per thousand I'm just gonna say that Uh, it goes up and down and like we said earlier different times of year so in December uh, it might be two dollars or three dollars per thousand but in January it might be 25 cents per thousand views yeah so and that's something that has been difficult to deal with that's something that I think that has been hard. So like one month you'll get a ton of money and the next you'll get very little. And so it's it's just, it's unpredictable. YouTube is unpredictable with their ads and where they place them and blah, blah, blah. Um, and how much they pay for, pay you for the ads. So that's one thing that I think is really smart. If you start making money off of YouTube, don't spend it all if you make a whole bunch in one month. Like save it because you're going to have probably a bad month. Mm-hmm. Madison says... How is it with so many kids? It's good and bad. It's good Good because they help us create good content, but it's also tough because sometimes you have to discipline them when you're live. (laughs) Is YouTube your only job? Yes. Yes. Actually, okay. Michael's an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. I quit my full-time job last summer, last June, so we've been doing YouTube full-time for over a year now. But he also, we also do photography part time it's been a long want. time since we've done a photo but shoot we though. used to be photographers and if we wanted to we could do photography and you right sell now. lip sense now and too. i sell lip sense and michael's a beekeeper i haven't done heart. beekeeping for a while though I need to do more of that. <laughs> but he'll do it probably this next year he'll these he'll guys probably didn't even know that i'm a beekeeper i know right it's amazing thanks for coming andrew Cha-ching. just kidding why did you stop the go down the hunts we will keep doing treasure hunts. Did you watch our ghost treasure hunt? Seriously. That was a good one. Is it hard to keep your home address from going public? Yeah. There's yeah. so much information on the internet. Don't look us up on don't, the internet. Don't like, come to our house. Don't come to our house, probably. It's just a privacy comfort thing. It makes yeah. me feel better. Not because I we I mean, unless we know you or you've messaged us and it's like ahead of time and it's like, okay, we know what's going on. Like, right. I think that if you were to try and stalk us and find our house, that would be creepy for anybody. Yeah. So... Even though you might not be a creepy person, it just might be creepy. Bye, Jack. Thanks for coming. See ya. Um, Who's your favorite kid? Not answering you. that question. Oh. He's my favorite. <laughs> um, P.O. Box. <laughs> if you want to send us a mail, it's P.O. Box 322. Springville, Utah. Um, sorry, I didn't see your question. Three Niego X. <laughs> also, if your name is hard to read, it's hard to How long pronounce. have we been together? We've been together for eight and a half years. I've been stalked. <gasps> no Michael, fun. what if we get to ten years? That would be cool. What if we get to infinity years together? <laughs> <We can't. laughs> Alright, um, I'm your neighbor. Take outside. I'm outside your window. No! Uh, Sorry! That'd be really weird if you were. Don't look in our windows. It's creepy. Is it okay? Do you have Skype? Um, we don't. We do. We just never use it. I don't know what it. what I would use it for. I kind of want to get to an hour. We're at fifty eight minutes. <gasps> Can you shout me out? 
Tom. Knock, knock. Ha ha. Somebody said. By the way, I'm leaving. Bye, Tommy. Goodbye, Tommy. Thanks for coming and hanging out. What are you doing in your spare time? Why does what Rudy, spare time? Rudy thinks we're mean. I don't know why Rudy thinks we're mean. We love you. We really? vlog in our spare time. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. I didn't say what TV shows do you watch. I love your shows. Oh. oh. It doesn't I, matter what, what TV, TV shows No, because that's not the questions we're answering right now. <laughs> You're so strict. I'm trying to answer YouTube-related questions if you want to grow YouTube. But I what think is your favorite YouTuber? That's a YouTube-related question. You're my favorite YouTuber. You're my favorite YouTuber. All right, let's sing the Pause the Game song, and uh, we'll close out the vlog. Everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. This has been really good. We've had almost everybody like consistent for the whole Yeah, whole that was really good. Stream. Thank you guys for coming and thanks for asking us all these questions. And honestly, <laughs> um, sometimes we don't get around to our comments. And honestly, I get messages on Facebook, on my pins and things and the beach house. And I get messages on pins and things and the beach house comments on both of our channels and Instagram. And there's a lot of places that I get messages. So don't be offended if I don't answer your messages. But I am getting better at it so <laughs> all right well we've been live for an hour so we're gonna close out the vlog we answered all the questions hey, and the place that i'm most active on is actually my lip sense page so if you really want to get a hold of me follow me on lip sense yep and i'm gonna Becca's put you lipstick on lipstick love that's right because <laughs> i all love right. it come over here guys if you want to come and hang out okay now you can goodbye come to the live stream me? yep Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Everybody, thanks so much for hanging Bye -bye out. Now. This has Bye -bye. been really, really fun. Bye -bye. I'm really, also all ready for Cubs. I hope we answered all your questions. Uh, bye bye. These are the days to cherish every moment. Yeah, take it all in before it all gets stolen. Yeah, one day you'll turn a corner and you'll never be the same. Just pause the game.